room. Benitez Santana didn't say much, basically just answering the judge's questions. But outside the courtroom, I got a chance to speak to a witness who saw the entire tragic incident. A courtroom packed with people, including several state troopers, waiting to hear what a judge would say about Raul Benitez Santana, the man accused of killing one of their own. And just flat drives right into the back of this patrol vehicle at full speed. Fox 13 News obtained probable cause documents that say Benitez Santana admitted to smoking pot and drinking two beers a few hours before the crash. In court, the prosecution said Benitez Santana was flying along I-5 and driving on the shoulder like it was a lane of traffic. I had a gray SUV pass me at probably about 100 miles an hour with no lights on. I did not see it coming. I spoke to Alex Asadi. He tells me he was there on the night of the crash. He said he rushed over to try and help Trooper Christopher Gadd. And I'm really, really sorry. Sorry for what happened because I have a five-year-old. I cannot imagine, you know, not being there. Gad was 27. He had a wife and a two-year-old girl. He was on the streets as a trooper for less than two years before this deadly crash. Your Honor, I don't think this probable cause statement is sufficient to establish the offense of vehicular homicide. The defense claimed Trooper Gad had no lights on, and Benitez Santana could not have seen him while driving on the highway. They say this is nothing more than a terrible accident. But the prosecution says the whole crash is caught on camera. The judge also referenced Benitez Santana's history of reckless driving, which includes a ticket for going nearly 50 miles per hour over the speed limit when she made her decision. Mr. Benitez, uh, the court uh, will set bail in the amount of $1 million. Now, after the hearing, I spoke to either family or friends of Benitez Santana who were there in support. However, they did not want to talk on camera and they did not want to give any statement. We have information on how you can support or even donate to the Gad family. That's on fox13seattle.com. Reporting here in Everett, I'm AJ Janivel, Fox 13 News.